Hello, this is Nunetsu, and this is the first video of the channel. I'd like to show you a few things that I've found within the Hebrew language that I find are amazing. And, as well as being great for teaching, it's also just another proof of the divine signature within the language, in my opinion. So, if we start with the word that we get Christ from, Messiah, Mashiach, right, it's often pronounced me shi ya ha using the letters mem shin yod chet now Hebrew is read from right to left okay so if we take the ancient pictographic meanings and go from right to left and ignore all the words that can be contained within Mashiach and just go from word to word when you're doing this you have to make the link word yourself so it could be this letter of this letter does that to this letter or from this letter etc you have to play about it and see what works but when things work you can get a lot of teachings from it and they're often confirmed in the other scriptures that's kind of how you know if you're on the right track or not so if we start from right to left right this will represent Yahushua's first coming I'll show you what I've seen or what he's shown me and then after that if you go from left to right I'll represent his second coming that is I believe is soon to come okay and you'll get additional teachings that way now the script you have before you is technically Aramaic it's basically what the modern Hebrews use but it's still Hebrew for all intents and purposes the ancient pictographic is not shown here but the meanings are the same so from right to left if you start with the first one the Mem that's a picture of water that represents water blood the flowing of water chaos because of the crashing of the seas mighty for the same reason and also scripturally a large body of people is often synonymous with water, a large body of water. So we have nations or Gentiles. Moving on to the sheen, the ancient pictographic is two teeth. So we have teeth, consume or eat, literally just two, sharp, press, destroy. Next we have yod, which is a hand, an arm, which represents works, power and effort. After that we have Chet, which is wall, inside or outside, divide, cut off, and life. 